Hey everyone, welcome back to Simple Hobby Zen. Let's talk about dealing with stress today. I want to share the advice I got that changed my life and the entire way I think about stress and deal with stress. And at the end of this video, I think it can do the same for you. I think we have all experienced feeling stressed at times in our life. Stress is very common, and but life can be overwhelming and stressful sometimes. And even though we would really want to, it's not something that you can easily just switch off. You can't really turn your inner stress meter down instantly or set your mind to relax mode just like that. It doesn't work that way. And of course, there are things that we can do to either avoid stress or relieve stress whenever we experience it. And I've talked about this on the channel before, but that's not what this one is about today. A few years ago, I learned something from a Tibetan Buddhist monk called Yongi Mingyur Rinpoche that truly opened my eyes and made me handle stress in a much better way. And I'm going to share with you what that was. So when it comes down to it, when we experience stress, there are basically three ways that we can deal with it. And the first way is to let the stress overwhelm us. We kind of get sucked into it and this happens very easily. Our stress can kind of take over our thoughts, our emotions and can even cause anxiety or panic. Our thoughts keep racing, our mind won't shut up, we lose perspective and it's hard to see the big picture. Now this is very understandable and it happens to the best of us. The stress kind of becomes our boss in this scenario, but it's obviously not what we would want to happen. The second way to deal with stress is kind of the opposite, where we notice that we are feeling stressed and then we start to fight it. We don't want to feel stressed, so we try and force ourselves to become more relaxed. This can be by telling yourself to let it go or by telling yourself to stop being so stressed. You can even try yoga or meditation, anything to stop the stress and fight it. You know it's not healthy for you and you want it to stop. But what this actually tends to do is make the stress a lot stronger. By making it into our enemy, we give it a lot more power. Because we hate feeling stressed, we become more stressed. So basically, we experience stress about experiencing stress. <laughs> and if this sounds familiar to you, then you're not alone. But this option is also not very optimal. So it might seem like there's no better alternative because following our stress isn't good and fighting our stress also isn't good. So how do we deal with it in a healthy way? Well, there's a third option. Instead of treating our stress as our boss or as our enemy, we can try and treat it as our friend. And stay with me here, I know it may sound weird or silly, but it just means accepting it for being there, being aware of its existence and then just letting it be. We are not fighting it, we are not trying to force ourselves to become more relaxed, but we are also not letting it control us and we don't just follow along. And by doing so, we take the sting out of our stress. It becomes much less powerful because we don't give it power. They also call this avoiding the second arrow. And what they mean by this is, if we get hit by an arrow in our body, of course it will hurt. But if we get hit by a second arrow in exactly that same place, it will hurt 10 times more. And what they mean by this is, if we stress, of course it doesn't feel good, but if we stress about being stressed, it makes it 10 times more powerful. And this is not just in our mind, it also has a huge impact on our physical health. There have been studies that showed the relationship between stress and health issues and premature death. And they found that stress did lead to more health issues, but only in those people that believed stress to be harmful for them. So the belief that stress is harmful, that we need to fight it, is actually causing more problems for us. So what I do when I'm experiencing stress is I try to make friends with it. I notice it's there, I become aware of its existence, and I show myself some compassion. And every time I notice that I'm either following along or I'm fighting it, I become aware of it and again it loses power. And yes, I take extra good care of myself, I make sure I get a good night's sleep, I stay away from sugar and caffeine, I cross a few things off my to-do list so I can have more rest, I might even meditate, I do all these things to take care of myself, but all the while I am not trying to force the stress to go away, I just let it be there until it leaves on its own, and that has truly been life-changing for me. If you want to relieve stress right now, then watch this video where I share 20 tips to relax when you're feeling stressed. It is an oldie, but the tips still work very well. Make sure to subscribe, give the video a like. I'm sending you a big bear hug and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.